get a check of your weather here at CBS News Baltimore. Today, 91 degrees is going to be the forecast high, and we start to see the word showers enter the forecast tonight and overnight, maybe even a thunderstorm. The weather is subtly changing on us, and I really want to discuss this with you. The O's play the Red Sox, second game of a four-game stand tonight. They did pretty good last night, so for the best tonight, as folks are entering the stadium, 88, mostly cloudy skies. Then we get overcast, 83 and 82, as we move through the game. Here's the Saturday. There's not a whole lot going on at this time, but all you have to do is look out to the west, and here's the energy that's the conundrum in the forecast over the next couple of days. I want to bring the future cast in right now. Keep your eye on the timestamp. This is going to be the basic mantra of the future cast. We're not going to have widespread heavy rain or thunderstorms, but any cell isolated could be, you know, a, a pretty good heavy rainstorm or maybe even a potentially severe thunderstorm. That's the conundrum we're in right now. So here you go. Once we get to about 930, we've just seen some clouds pass by the area. We're starting to see some moisture out to the west, a little bit of isolated moisture. But by tomorrow morning, 4.45 a.m., we have a line of showers. And every once in a while, you see a pretty good, pretty good little rainstorm. Then as we move through the midday, we, we start to see maybe even a couple of thunderstorms firing up on a southwest and northeast line. But look how many areas you're not seeing any rain. We're not talking about a widespread rain event tomorrow or Sunday or Monday. But we are talking about, if you will, over the course of three days, widespread isolated showers. Look at this, 115 tomorrow afternoon, still up the 95 quarter rain, but Anne Arundel County, you're doing fine. And also, out of the corner of your eye, keep the Delmarva in mind, because at this point so far, it's relatively calm. As we move through tomorrow late afternoon, we still are seeing shower activity and some now moving across the bay, but still not on the Delmarva. 545 tomorrow, the heat of the day, we're seeing some thunderstorms starting to fire up southwest and northeast. Tomorrow night, look, Charles County toward Lexington Park. That's going to be some pretty heavy rain and maybe a severe thunderstorm or two. It's something we have to watch over the course of the weekend. Then does life calm down at 12.45 a.m. Saturday night into Sunday morning? Looks like it, but not quite yet. You start to see some more shower activity passing across the region and thus will be the flavor of Sunday. Ocean City may be the calmest weather right now. UV index tomorrow at 9, uh, on Sunday and 8, 76 and 78. But I have to point out this rip current risk. It's very high because Ernesto is still going to be a player, albeit well out to sea and heading even further away from the area up to the Canadian Maritimes than headed actually toward Great Britain. It is going to be sending ripples our way. So rip current, they cannot be ignored whether you're in the Virginia beaches, Maryland, Delaware, Jersey. Look, you're adults, you know how to play this. 891 today, 85, 86 tomorrow and Sunday. Stay weather aware. First alert meteorologist Steve Sosna has really been watching this for you off air. And he's concerned he's going to have to make the possible a probable. And we go to the red first alert graphic. 85 on Monday, still maybe some backwash showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but a diminished chance. Then we get back to some pretty darn good weather here. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 80, 81 and 82 degrees. You're watching CBS News, Baltimore.